Right, yes sir. So we talked about properties of your ideal superhero cape. Yeah. So tell me about what it should be. It should be strong and it should be blended in because if like a bad guy is trying to catch you, like you can blend in like Mr. Vincent showed us, like a man paint a painting and then there was a man inside, but we couldn't see him because oh. he was blended in with the trees. What what other word can you use for that? Cat? Camouflage. Camouflage. It needs to be bendy, uh -huh. waterproof, fireproof, metal, rubber, and plastic. Why metal? Because, like, if it goes, like, for example, if it goes somewhere hot, if it's, um, maybe plastic, or I mean rubber, it's like, like not last for that long. Good. Okay, should we do some experiments to see? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Yusuf, what do you think? Is this paper, does it have the properties of your cape? No. Okay, let's see with fire. Whether it's fireproof. Okay, so let's see if it is fireproof. Do you think it's fireproof? No. Did it catch fire? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so, you sell? Yeah. This is cardboard. Yeah. And we're going to test if cardboard has the properties of your ideal cape. Strong, okay. right? If it's strong, it survives. Oh, it's pretty strong. Yeah. If this is strength proof, if it's strong enough, go. Oh, it's not. It broke. You're stronger than the cardboard. So, Yusuf, we're going to test if this cardboard is what? Waterproof. Okay, let's see. Is it waterproof? Put, put it over there. Put water on it. Is it? But if it stays for a bit longer, do you think it's waterproof? No. It's starting to become... Yeah. So cardboard can be waterproof for a little bit, but not for a long.